Welcome back. I'm here to show you three teapots that I recently made and how I made them. And if you like what you see here, press that like button. And you know, subscribe if you want to, but you don't have to, but it'd really help me out if you did. But again, no pressure. Anyways, on with the videos. Oh my God, look at all these little teapots. They're so cute. And since they were 75% off, I bought them all. Sorry, all the tiny teapots were mine. I had to fight off some old ladies. Okay, no, I didn't. But I think some of them give me the hairy eye. That's a phrase, right? The hairy eyeball? I don't know, but I'm sure they thought somebody with 27 tiny teapots in their cart was up to no good. And they'd be right, because I'm gonna make something crazy out of them. Okay, not that crazy. I'm making tiny teapot creations modeled after my big teapot creations. Because shrinking something makes it 153% cuter. Trust me, the math maths. And the first one I'm doing is my tiny teapot trash town. Okay, it's really a city, but town sounded better. Yo, check out this little Monopoly house. You'll go right here. And you know, we gotta add that circle window. Oh yeah. Okay, so why is this town a trash town? Because I'm using trash to build it. Did you not notice all the trash? Yeah, I got some old popsicle sticks and whatever that is. Okay, that's not really trash, but the cardboard I used under it is. Okay, but we don't want our town to look too trashy, so I'm gonna add these amazonite stones. I've gotta be saying that wrong. There's no way that that stone is called amazonite. That sounds totally made up. Whoops, get back on there. Anyways, that's like what you name something that you have no idea what to name it, and you're like, this stone is amazing, so we'll call it amazonite. Kind of like unattainum, unattainum. You know, the stone from that movie. That sounds totally made up. I mean, it is made up because it's a movie. Movie. But you know what I mean? It just sounds fake. Oh, well, did you see that? I almost dropped my Swelligant. All right, who's naming these products? We got a Maison right and Swelligant. Put them all together and you got an amazing Swell Elegant Teapot creation. Is that how that works? Do they make any products called Follow Me Blue or perhaps click that heart button red? No? Okay, well then don't do it because I didn't use those products so you can't follow me or click that heart button and that's not reverse psychology at all. Psh, I wouldn't do that to you guys. <laughs> Anyways, so this teapot needs to be up off the ground because it's elegant, remember? You can't just be sitting on the dusty countertop. I don't know why your counter's dusty. Maybe you should dust more. But look, I don't judge. I, I can't remember last time I dusted. Anyway, so I made this plaque and I'm putting it on there. But the plaque's boring by itself, so I'm adding all these crystals around it. Look at it, I should have stopped there, but I kept going. I went crystal crazy. And look at that, we're done. Holy crap, that's a lot of crystals. Do you think it looks swelligant? That Monopoly piece looks awesome. Good thing we added that awesomeite. Oh, look at the stairs next to the circle window. That way you can look at the circle window while you're going up the stairs because we all want to look at the circle window. Anyways, yeah, what, what do you guys think? And remember, don't follow me or click that heart button. All right, I'm back with another teeny tiny teapot and we got to do the teeny tiny spider check. Here we go. Whew, it's empty. See the spooky eyeball? That's for spooky season. But first we must massage the clay and then jam the eyeball in. Okay, so I was gonna go with the American Midgies Alice teapot creature thing, hence the eyeball. But then the, the vision got lost somewhere and then I did my own thing, which happens a lot because I get bored or something. I can't explain it. I think I really just wanted to use this green clay. And so it turned into like a nature-y type teapot, which I, I'm okay with. It's not quite the creepy teapot I was hoping for, but that's fine. You can't always get what you want. <clears throat> anyway, so we got lots of leaves. I'm kind of I'm kind of getting bored of these leaves. There's a lot of them. And I apparently filmed every one of them. No good, we're moving on to the top, but it, it's a spiral, just kind of like the front. You know, I'm just now realizing how lame this design is. Maybe these legs will save it. That's right, we gotta add legs because Adding legs makes it 37% more creepier. So it sort of resembles the teapot I was going for, but not really. Kind of like a lazy version of it. I don't know. You know what? Recently, my videos haven't been getting the views that they used to get. So I'm just going to be happy making art for myself. And if somebody views it, so be it. Anyways, we're back to massaging the clay. Get your mind out of the gutter. And what's this? Could we possibly be using the cap for my soy sauce bottles? <laughs> no, not really. I'm just using it so that our teapot stands up while it dries. And there she is. And get out of there, cap. No, seriously, get, get off. Dang it. I forgot to wrap it in saran wrap. All right, we'll get it off by threatening it with a hammer. It's free. Boy, this cap really left an impression. Look, you can even read it. Sanding didn't work, so we'll just cover it with clay. It's really my solution for everything. Okay, this teapot's missing some sparkle. Do we want red sparkle, green sparkle, brown sparkle, yellow sparkle? Definitely yellow. We're going with yellow because it's a yellow kind of day. And yellow is my favorite color. And we more spirals. Here's your little hat. Now let's just add your coat of paint. Get it? Coat of paint? Because she's got a hat and coat. I don't know. It's not always easy being clever. But let's smack that coat off. Smack, smack. All right, and we're done. And check her out. She's looking pretty good. Not too shabby. What do you guys think? She's not as creepy as I wanted, but that's okay. We can't always be what we want. 
Okay, so I bought this super groovy teapot at Savers and I have this mirror. So why not merge the two and make a teapot mirror? But I can't like end it here, that's boring. So all my teapots have some sort of theme and let's see if you can guess this theme. So I got tree branches. And what is that, a skull? No, it's not a skull, it's multiple skulls. You know what they say about skulls. If you see one skull, there's probably more. Wait, is that a saying? Or is that mice? I'm always getting skulls and mice mixed up. Anyways, they're just in time for the spooky season. Dang, I put a lot of skulls on here. This is getting boring, sorry. But look at these crystals. That's a little less boring, right? But then I'm right back with these leaves. And now they're just white leaves with this crystal. This video went from boring to cool again. And look at me use this mirror. I could have been an artistic film director. Okay, not really. But look at my box of bling. It's my bling box. I got all sorts of different colors of bling. I got this orange bling and this darker orange bling and another lighter orange. I swear, I have more colors than orange. But you know, it's an Ashley creation because I'm putting some mushrooms on it. Yeah, you thought I was done with mushrooms? I'm not. I'm not done with mushrooms. They're just getting creepier because look at the skull. That is creepy, right? Skulls are creepy. Or are they cute? They're kind of cute unless they're real. It's all in the eyes. See, so you can make a cute skull if the eyes are cute. I guess not eyes, it would be eye sockets. <laughs> Skulls don't have eyes, Ashley. God, you're so stupid. I can't take you anywhere without embarrassing yourself. Anyways, so we're putting some more mushrooms on this because I like mushrooms. We got some handle mushrooms. We got some skull mushrooms. We got some leaf mushrooms. And what is this thing? Why is this on here? Why does a spout need a spout? It's okay, I evacuated the spout impersonator and added these branches. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and ask you not to leaf because it, insert skull pun. I don't know. I'm not feeling very punny today. And I know what you're thinking. I ruined it with all this paint. But like I'm wiping it away. It, it was a style choice, I swear. And hold up, are these bubbles? I haven't done bubbles forever. Check out these bubbles. Ooh, they're so bubbly and satisfying. And now we're just painting the bubbles. And then I add this foil, but that's boring. So I'm gonna speed through it. And ta-da, look at it. And let's just take the lid off and check it out inside. It's gold in there. Oh yeah, and here's the mirror. Ooh. I don't know, what do you guys think? I know it's not as complex as my other teapots, but I like it. It's nice and simple. 